I got a request on this slick digital video camera and guy says he needs the program to install the drivers for a slick digital camera. Personally, I, I've never used the, uh, the install disc and I've tried it on my XP and I've tried it on my Windows 8 or 7 rather. And I also had a Windows 8 beta that I tried it on. And it worked on all of them with no problem without the installation disk. Um, basically, all you have to do, let's close this. Let's close this. All you have to do basically is uh, you plug in the camera. Let me get this thing plugged in. Um, yeah, then when you do, you have to, uh, you have to turn the camera on. Now, if you don't have, or haven't used the camera with a computer before, down here in the system tray, when you turn it on, you're going to see something pop up because it's going to have to install drivers for it. And Windows does carry the drivers for it. It will install it if you let it. Anyway, and then once you do install it, I'm turning it on now. Once you do install it, it should pop up a menu like this or similar to this. <coughs> and if all you have to do is you open folder to view files, then you keep clicking the folders till you finally get to the video. And there's the videos right there. Use the larger thumbnail. See, there's the videos right there. All you have to do at this point is either right click one or select whatever you want. Right click it. And when you do, just either cut or copy it and paste it into whatever folder you want it in. I mean, it's pretty simple. And once you've done that, you can just use your. Uh, Windows Movie Maker or whatever program that you use. Let's see, let's open Windows Movie Maker. Whatever program that you use to edit videos. I mean, it's no problem. With this up here, all you have to do is drag video right into Windows Movie Maker Live or if you're on XP, Windows Movie Maker, period. And then from there, you can edit it however you want. This is just a sample thing I shot off my computer. But that's, that's all it takes. Anyway, that's all you have to do, basically, to, uh, to use that camera. You, you don't have to have any drivers for it. Windows will automatically install them drivers, whether it's XP or uh, Windows 7. Or, or you know Vista, they should all all love the drivers for it. Alrighty then, I hope this was helpful for you. You have a good day, first. I'm out of here. I forgot to mention that in the event you don't get a little pop-up window for your, for your camera, all you have to do to find the camera, go to computer, and then right here, on mine it comes up as removable disk F. It'll come up as, you know, whatever disk on your computer. It might come up as D or whatever. Well, it won't come up as D probably. It might come up as E, but on mine it comes up as F. You click that, then you go to DCIM, and then click the 100 media, and there's your videos. Um, like I say, I'm sorry I forgot to put it in the main body of the video, but better late than never. All right, have a good one, first.